Um, well, this is a little more about myself I forgot to mention. Um, not that I deliberately did this, it's just really hard for me to remember because it was back when I was very young. Um, I could have been like 12 years old. Um, I just remember that, um, you know, and I kind of forget it because I don't hardly really talk about it. <laughs> In fact, I never really talked about it. Um, I think the only person I've ever told was my boyfriend, and I was the only person who knew. Till now. Um, and that is, uh, that I had thought about running away. I still remember why I wanted to run away. It was just hard because it just seemed like every day in my life there was yelling and fighting and arguing and there was not peace in that house. There's still not peace in the house to this day. Um, you know, so, um, I had done it a few times, but I, I was terrified, <laughs> you know. I guess you could say even at the age of, like, 12, I wasn't stupid. <laughs> I knew to life cost money. <laughs> and still it was tempting and run away. Sometimes I would go to the door, I'd creak it open, and I would just peek outside. And think about stepping out, and just leaving, it. never coming back. And uh, and the thoughts would rush through my head: How are you going to take care of yourself? You need money for that. You need a job for that. How are you going to get a job? Nobody's going to hire a twelve-year-old. <laughs> If anything, you're going to get in trouble and get sent right back here. But still, I would just creak the door open and still look and just think about it like, maybe. <laughs> and reality would kick in and I'd realize that there's... Uh, what I want will not occur running away. What I wanted was to just get away and have peace. But, you know, even at 12, I could figure out getting away was not going to give me peace. And I did not have survival skills to survive. <laughs> you know, some people, they, they have enough knowledge to go live out in the woods, you might say, and survive. And it was something I knew I lacked. I realized the likelihood of me actually surviving was not likely at all. The likelihood of me even just barely surviving to earn enough money to eat some food and maybe have a place to stay was also not likely. So I would just end up closing the door and going back to bed and all in all feeling like a coward. Would feel like a I'm not sure why I felt like a coward. I think I just felt scared. And felt like it sucked that I was scared. So I didn't want to go back in. But at the same time, I realized that 
the goal that I would want to achieve to have peace was not going to occur by running away either. So, we'll just go back in and I guess just keep trying to bear through it. And, yeah. My mom uh, actually caught me once. I know my sister also wanted to run away. And when she caught us, she was screaming at us and kept saying she wasn't angry. And here's $20 if we want to go if we think things are really just that bad. Take it and leave. Um, and then that just put my mind in the state of being guilted to try to prove my loyalty again. <laughs> I'm happy to say I don't want to run away. I'll stay. And ever since that day, I never went to that door again. Um... I, I guess that's because there was more of that fear of having to prove my loyalty uh, that day. And that's why I did not go back to that door. I did not want to have to go through that hell again of having to prove that I love my family. Truth was, I did love my family. I just didn't want to be there anymore. I just didn't want to be there with all the yelling and the screaming. My dad constantly wanted to spank us. I just didn't want to be there anymore. I wanted to be out. So now I was stuck with a greater fear to prove my loyalty. And I think my mind just kind of lost track of ever wanting to get out. So now here I am, 30 years old, and... Finally trying to learn how to be on my own. Barely just got my uh, permit to drive now. And each step I am just very much pushing just to gain independency. Um, it was, you know, it's just very clear and evident to me that me being on my own or independent is not a priority to my family. <coughs> it never was. And it never will be. So I have to be very, very pushy just to make sure things are running and going. Um... I have to keep pushing my dad to take me out to drive just so I can learn how to drive. <laughs> and each time he makes it a hassle and hell for me as if to, in his own subtle, sarcastic, and nasty way, uh, try to punish me for inconveniencing him. <laughs> uh, so each step to my independency and being on my own is really not easy. This, this is very hard. Uh, but it's a, it's a priority to me. It means a lot to me in my life right now. So I'm just fighting hard. I guess because I've learned something that my 12-year-old self didn't know at that moment, and that was I cannot help my family. I can only help myself. It took me a while to learn that. I think that moment when I was 12 years old and wanting to run away and then getting yelled and screamed at, it kind of just shut down my mind. I remember thinking of getting out again, that it didn't even occur to me to try to learn to grow up. <laughs> There's just too much damn fear. Um, can't say I was a I'm not so sure it was fear that 
as I got older, why I didn't get out. I just think it was that moment of fear that shut down my brain to uh, really understand to get out. So, you know, as I got older, the brain had already shut down and from ever thinking of getting out to where, you know, even when I was older, uh, it wasn't so much fear anymore. It's just that part of the brain had shut down. Um, you know, after having a counselor and her helping me in the reality setting in, I can only help myself. I can't help my family. Um, you know, it reawakened the drive back inside me to realize I got to get out. And I'm not 12 anymore, so I can get a job. <laughs> and I can drive, and I can take care of myself. Things that my 12-year-old self was worried about and knew that it could, I couldn't do. Um, I'm, you know, not in that space anymore. Uh, you know, I'm 30 years old. <laughs> Anybody will hire me now. Um... Uh, so yeah, you know, it's just, I remember that moment when I was a kid, and, you know, here I am now, and I'm just fighting for my independency. Um, and I'll keep doing so until I've, until I've got it, until I've achieved it. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, that's it, that's the thing I forgot to mention about myself, uh, that it happened. Uh, growing up, I honestly don't know if I have any advice here. Um, because um, I think it's complicated. I know a lot of parents, they don't want their kids running away like that or even thinking about it. And I wouldn't know what advice to give to know the key signs if your kid wants to run away. I wouldn't know any advice to give to, you know, what can you do or say to help your kid not want to run away. I think each kid is so individually different as is situations. You know, sometimes kids are honestly just spoiled little brats and they don't want to be home. <laughs> And then some are in situations like mine where it's not healthy. It's not a good environment for a child. And they don't know anything else to do but run away because they're a kid. So their mind and their the options they think they have is not very big. So, um, you know, and sometimes it's not the family. Sometimes it's bad stuff at school. So I honestly wouldn't know what to say or do in that moment. You know, I, you know, I can only say things personally what would have been good for me, uh, you know, growing up, what would have been personally good for me in that moment. And that's it. I, I can't give any advice for anybody else in their situation. I think it's all, only one can figure it all out on their own. And I know that sucks because that's tough trying to find an answer there. You know, I think for me personally, it would have just been helpful if my pa family had reached a reality check that um, they're angry people. They're angry people and... They're manipulative, and they need to work on themselves. But people with a big ego, that's not what they do. When they see their kid wants to run away, their ego is struck, because now it's hitting home that they realize exactly how much they're impacting their own kids. How much what they're doing makes their kids want to run away. And somebody with an ego, they don't like their ego struck. They don't 
have any sympathy for what they do. Instead, they lash out and get angry again. Because you done hit their ego. And, you know, God forbid that. <laughs> God forbid that they know that they have a problem and they need to fix it. They will not do that. Instead, they're going to just point the finger and call you out as the problem, even when you're not. Um, because then they don't have to face the problems within, because truth is, they're afraid. They're very afraid to face their own problems. They're afraid to reach inside and admit they're not perfect. They're afraid to reach inside and admit that they need to work on themselves. They're afraid to reach inside and face all those things that they don't want to face. So it's easier for them to just blame someone else. Outwardly blame someone else instead of going inside. Um, you know, so the only advice I could give is from my personal experience. What would have helped so much then is if my family had swallowed their ego, uh, which clearly they did not. <laughs> um, but I am glad that, you know, now that I'm older, I have learned a lesson for myself, and that is I can only help myself. I can love them. I can forgive them. It doesn't make it right what they're doing, but that's for my own peace of mind. And, you know, I can only help myself, which brings me a lot of peace of mind because then I'm only responsible for myself and I'm not taking on all these responsibilities anymore that are, are not mine and not something I can help. Uh, so, you know, I can say I've, I'm very glad I learned that I can only help myself because it, it just took down a lot of stress. Because beforehand, I just took on all that stress of having to take care of everybody emotionally and be ready, uh, be ready to help them be ready, which was something I can't do. Uh, so only being able to help myself now, care about them, but only help myself, it's, you know, decreased a lot of my stress. A lot. <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, I can't really get any give any advice about other situations though and I hope the best for anybody that's going through that um you know, I hope any counseling or uh help would help uh you through whatever that is that you're going through um so I guess I'm done now you have a good morning a good afternoon or good evening and goodbye now